Good morning. Here we are on Facebook Live at 11 o'clock. I hope we are live. I've got the live little ticket going in the corner of my video. Um, I hope you are well. It will be great to see who we have got with us this morning. Uh, I will try and make sure that I scroll down to see who is joining us this morning. Um, sorry about last week, I kind of missed out half of you. Um, hope you're well. Welcome. Um, this is me, Jules, uh, beaming live to you from my living room. Good morning to Leslie. Uh, thank you very much for you and uh, John joining us. Um, I've kind of had a really lovely week, actually. Um, quite relieved that the uh, the heat has has gone. In fact, it's quite sort of drizzly and mizzly this morning uh, here in Outer East London, where I am. I hope you're well, wherever you are. Uh, welcome back if you are joining me for uh, your maybe second, third. We're on session five now. How has that happened? That's I don't know where the time is going. Um, but welcome to our fifth Tiny Plays session. Um, and if you are joining us for the first time, welcome. I will just recap um, on what a tiny play is. A tiny play is a story. It is a story told in 10 lines. Now, those lines could be in the form of a conversation between, say, up to four characters. Uh, it could be a monologue um, from spoken by one person. It could be a poem. It could be a song or it could be a piece of spoken word. It's completely up to you. These are uh, just really exercises to get your creativity flowing and to get you to share uh, your creativity with us. Um, thank you for those of you that have already sent some tiny plays in. Um, they are already amazing. We've had some some great uh, great work in. Uh, I've been loving reading them. So so thank you very much for uh, for sharing them with us. Um, the idea is that we put these together in a collection and uh, hopefully get some local professional actors uh, to perform them for uh, f to enable us to share them even further afield, which is which is great. So as always, we've got a different theme this week. And this week, our theme is it's all in a name. So it's looking at titles. It's looking at uh, the way in which perhaps um, a very few amount of words can hook us into a story or can uh, can tell a story in even less than 10 lines. Now, as always, we're going to start with a quick fire challenge. Um, and this time, your quick fire challenge is going to be uh, I'm not even going to give you 10 lines this time. I'm going to give you six words. I would like you to tell a story in six words. Uh, and as always, this is working at your own pace. It is um, very much uh, at your own uh, level. Um, you can write as much or as little as you like. Uh, just make sure that you've got a way of recording your ideas. So whether that's a pad and a pen, uh, whether it's a voice note on your mobile phone, whether like the old um, novelist Dame Barbara Cartland, you've got uh, somebody there that you're going to dictate your ideas to. Um, it could be that you've got a laptop or a tablet that you're going to tap out your ideas on. But they're all things that you can develop later on at your own leisure. Um, so we're going to give you uh, a couple of minutes, as always. Again, no pressure. Write as much or as little as you like. Um, and it's going to be, uh, yeah, so six words. A story told in six words. In fact, um, one of the ones that I came up with was um, they aim they shoot, they score. So in the whole of those six words, you've already got a setting. You know that there is more than one person because I've used the word they. 
Um, there is an element of success because they score, they achieve something. So, um, so yeah, we're going to kind of set you off on that two minutes. Uh, I'll put some music on just so that you can uh, maybe allow that creativity to flow a little bit more. Make sure you're comfortable. Take a nice breath in. Allow the oxygen to get to your brain. Off we go. And you can share some of those six words with us, maybe later on. I'm going to do this as well, it's quite fun. It's not as easy as you think, is it? Great. Thank you, Leslie, already uh, posting. He cried, she came, he smiled. Fantastic. Thanks, Leslie, for sharing that one already. Excellent stuff. Great. How are we doing? I've got, open it, dare you, they urged. Okay, we're going to kind of come to an end with that one. So let's have a look and see what else people have shared with us on that. Great. Okay. Ah, we seem to have a slight problem with video this morning. Um, I seem to be disappearing and reappearing. It's all magic. Uh, so I apologise for that. Um, but it seems like we are back now. Uh, so great. Um, so Leslie's contribution. He cried. She came. He smiled. Um, I've got another one. Security guard looks the other way. Um, there's a whole story in that and that's the lovely thing with these six words uh, they can all be uh, complete stories or at least hook your audience in uh, and get them to tell part of the story for themselves it's completely up to you as the writer you have control of where that story goes um, another one that I've got um, she cut the wire they waited so, um, again, there's an element of suspense in there, um, but it kind of gives you a bit of a clue. Uh, I talk a lot about giving clues in the words that we use, and, um, and, and that's, that's kind of uh, really useful for an audience member um, or a reader to have. But you don't kind of want to give too much away too soon. Uh, so... We've started with our, our six word quick fire challenge to tell a story. Um, we're going to move on. Uh, we're going to move on to what I like to call the main event, uh, unless anybody's got any more that they would like to share. No. OK. Um, I can always come back to this. It's not a problem, uh, as you can when you are. Uh, doing your stories, um, you can start them and then maybe development, develop them later uh, at your own leisure. Now, uh, bef I think on the, um, the information alongside uh, the Facebook page, uh, there should be 
if the technology was working fine for me this morning. Um, there should be the titles that I'm going to kind of throw at you uh, for you to use for this next challenge. Um, if we think about uh, the titles of maybe famous novels or films, they kind of give you sometimes an idea of what that might be about. Sometimes they're a little bit more cryptic. Um, it could be the name of the main character, for example, um, Jane Austen uses this a, a, a lot, um, maybe like Emma, for example. And yet something like uh, Persuasion, another Jane Austen novel, is a little bit more obscure. Um, we've got fantastic novels like um, Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Um, and that almost kind of wants to... You, you, are drawn in then to that story because you want as a reader or as an audience member you want to find out that as well um david copperfield going back to to dickens uh so oh great lovely thank you i'm live says billy that's a real relief um I never know with technology. Sometimes it comes up on my computer that it's not it's not playing, uh, but you can still see me. Uh, so it's uh, it's a little bit disconcerting. However, I digress. Um, so our challenge, our main event, uh, I'm going to give you some titles and the titles are they can go wherever you want. Um, so uh, the key is a title. Silent Moments is another title. Uh, Lost and Found. The Game. And All Dressed Up. So again, find a way of recording your ideas. And, and these are, are really just ideas uh, this morning. Uh, again, you can kind of develop them later. Um, find a way of adding some uh, intrigue or some uh, some mini moments in there. It might help you actually to start off with six words and then elaborate. So uh, what we're going to do is going to put a bit of music on. And during the course of this, I'm probably going to sort of, as I usually do, uh, jump in with one or two prompts. We're going to think about W words, as we always do. Um, so let's have a go and see what we can come up with. Are you ready? So five, seven minutes. Um, over to you. Off we go. Right. So, when you've chosen your title, think about, make a note of what's going on. Who is involved? Who are the characters? Who are the people in this world that you are creating based on one of these titles? Where and or when does it take place? So again, what's the setting? Where are they? could consider some detail like what's the weather like where are they in the world and then kind of focus in a little bit more add a bit more detail think about why these events are happening right now in that particular moment that you are writing about. So what's the event that has triggered this story? Or what's happening? 
or the conflict, maybe, if it's between two or more people, is there a conflict? If it's one person, is it an internal conflict rather than an external conflict? So think about the what, what is happening, as well as the why. How does it happen? How does it come about? You've got complete control over your story. And the direction it takes could be a serious story, could be comical. It's up to you. Is it part of an adventure? So just allow that creativity to flow. Keep being relaxed and keep breathing just so that all those lovely ideas keep flowing. Great. Keep going. You're doing really well. And again, as I say, you can always leave these and go back to them. It's up to you. You are in complete control of the story and the way it develops. So I wonder if you are writing about the key. What is it the key to? Is it a literal key or a figurative key? So the silent moments, are these silent moments respite? Are they a release or relief from noise and bustle? Who is having a silent moment and what is the significance for them? What has been lost? What has been found? What game is being played and who is playing it? Where is it being played? And all these people that are dressed up or the person that is dressed up, why are they dressed up? Again, what's the significance for that? Okay. I'll give you a little bit extra time now. But you know what? We're going to stop because we're already kind of coming towards the end of, of the session. I don't know where the time goes. Um, it goes really, really quickly. Um, but I hope that you are being inspired to write some really great things and that you'll be able to share them with us. Uh, because I'm going to kind of leave you uh, now, as always, with your tiny play challenge uh, and your tiny play challenge for the next um, next week um, that we would like you to or that I would like you uh, to consider and to develop is. Um, well, it's up to you, really. It's uh, you can develop the ideas that you have just been uh, writing. Uh, so you can focus on the story that you've just been telling uh, based on one of those titles. You can choose a different one of those titles and develop one of those for your 10 line tiny play. Uh, or you can go back to your six word story and develop that into a tiny play. So I'm kind of giving you a little bit more choice this week. So it's going to be great because I don't know what we're going to get. Um, mind you, I don't know what we're going to get every week. And every week, um, those people that are sending stuff in so far, you've been surprising me and delighting me uh, with, with the work that you've, that you've been sending. So that is your challenge to develop 
uh, some of those ideas into a tiny play from today's session. Uh, either pick a different title from one of the five, uh, choose one of your six word your six word stories to develop uh, and and send us your conversation between two or four characters, uh, your monologue, uh, your song or your poem, your piece of spoken word based around that uh, that subject or that story. Um, and you can send them as always to by post. You can send them to the Queen's Theatre, Billet Lane. Hornchurch, and that's RM11 1QT, or you can send them via email, uh, and you can email them to us uh, at learning at queens theatre.co.uk. Um, I'm sure all that information will be available somewhere uh, down the side. Um, but as always, make sure that you put your name and contact details on there. Um, it's going to be slightly easier this week it, when, when I ask you for a title, particularly if you've picked one of the titles uh, that we've uh, that we've been using. Um, so send them to us. Uh, look forward to reading them. And hopefully uh, we can put them all together in, in a lovely collection. And then, as I say, the aim is to have them performed uh, by local actors. I'm really looking forward to that part of the process uh, as, as well. Um, so I'm going to kind of leave you here now. Uh, thank you very, very much for joining me. Um, have a great week. And I look forward to you joining me another time. Uh, have a good week look after yourselves see you soon bye for now <laughs>